and welcome to another edition of the train shed so slightly different approach to today's video um, it's not going to be a typical layout video um, as you can see the layout to the left of me hasn't uh, progressed much uh, waiting for one or two things to come in the post um, so things are a bit slow so what I thought I'd do is a slightly different video um, one thing I do enjoy doing is I enjoy taking things apart and trying to repair them and trying to understand how they work so what I thought I'd do is I'd buy this Hornby Elite DCC controller from eBay. I bought it not working. Um, the seller didn't know why it didn't work. It just stopped working one day. Um, so I'm going to attempt to repair it. Um, it'd be a nice little thing to have on the layout. Or maybe I'll sell it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But what I want to do is I want to get the community involved and I want to see if we can fix this between us. Um, I've got limited knowledge and understanding of electronics and circuit boards and things. Um, I know what I'm looking at, um, but um, how to fix it, not entirely sure at this stage. So we're going to go through um, the various stages of trying to figure out how to fix it, see if we can fix it, see if we can get it working. Um, it's all intact. It's obviously got the screen which looks in good condition it's got some strange like smattering of what looks like paint on it so if anyone can help me understand how to get rid of that I've given it a clean with IPA um, but it hasn't come off so I don't know what that is um, it's got a very nice tactile numpad it's obviously got the controller buttons these obviously twist they twist and press in um, to select different functions obviously the board itself now the board I've taken out I've given it a quick inspect um, and from what I can see there's nothing wrong with it it looks all the all the components look intact nothing looks like it's blown or burnt out or anything like that so um, not entirely sure what would be wrong with it but as I say that's the board what I'll do is I'll take a picture of this and I'll, I'll stick it in the video so you can have a closer look for anyone who knows what they're looking at there is a, um, a point here where the wires come off I, I broke that that wasn't broke when it arrived so that's don't think that's the reason it's not working um, so that's there and then obviously the back the, con the back of the controller itself so as I said what I want to do is I want to try and fix this I want your help as much as possible if you can um, so please comment on the video um, and let's see if we can fix this between us. Um, it doesn't have a power supply yet, um, so I'm going to get a power supply. If anyone has one going spare, um, please let me know. Um, I'm looking for one, a second hand one. I've got mine, a couple on eBay, um, but I will be getting one. Um, but please, um, if you know anyone who, who might know how to fix this or any help at all please comment on this video um, your help would be greatly appreciated um, so there will be another video along shortly once we've made some progress um, so all this to do now is to say um, thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video thanks for watching and bye